All right, so a lot has happened since the last time you guys saw this truck. It's come a long way. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of this process on video, but let me show you what we're gonna do today. Got my little helper here, little, because he's short. He's no. never gonna get taller than this. No. No. And we're gonna take the windows out of our 71C10. And well, there's some stuff you guys missed. A lot has happened since the last time you guys saw this truck. One of them being, uh, well, we took the cab off and we did a lot of disassembly. Uh, we'll just say the footage is lost, but here, here it is. So, it's all pretty much disassembled. We, uh, we're getting everything ready to start prepping and sectioning this frame here. And right here, we got a little bit of the panels in to actually start working on this cab. Now this cab needs everything. I mean, it needs front supports, rear cab supports, A and B pillars, inner rockers. The only thing we haven't gotten yet is, well, we haven't gotten the outer rockers yet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to need to do the top of the pan, but let's look at this cab. Yep. So I could tell you one thing. Once you start taking cabs apart and really getting down inside of them, you're not going to really know what you have. This is an absolute mess because you guys see that, well, there's new metal here, new panel, but he overlapped metal. He riveted it. He did what he knew how to do. But one thing... I have to stress that everybody should know is the fact that if you have a patch panel and you only have this much of the you know cab corner rotted out you don't use you shouldn't use the whole patch panel you should cut out of your patch what you need and save the original metal because now you got this big nasty gnarly mess here and I hope I have enough metal to work with all this because he went crazy out on it and this these lines aren't going to be even so my weld's going to be all over the place i hope i can i'm able to fix this there's there's a little bit of good news on the other side on the other side here he got lazy <laughs> and yeah i don't know if it was a friday or the budweiser started flowing and he got tired of riveting and drilling and trying to fit this panel but at least he left the good metal. The bad part is, is he left a lot of gap in there for a lot of water to get down into, which in turn rotted all that out. And it's just everywhere. Everywhere. These are his floor patches, uh, his rockers. He, he tried welding a little bit in the rocker here, but mostly for the most part, it was just riveted. Riveting. I'm not really sure what the top of the cab looks like underneath the sheet metal because, well, let me show you where this thing is like poking its head. And I think I'm going to have to take the top skin out. Up in there. And then, sorry for the light, but you could tell all the way across the roof line there's little tiny specks of rust. And. If it looks like that on the outside, as in the inside of the cab, you can only imagine what it looks like underneath this metal down in here. Because they just had this uh, cab sealer. I forgot what they exactly what the name for it is, but it cracks, it dries out, water starts getting down there, and it starts traveling down your jams, and then it just rots out your pillars, rots out inside here, gets into here, down into here you get my drift now i might be able to get away with drilling like a little hole back here and pouring some por 15 and stopping that and then clean out the outside that's probably what i plan on doing for these pillars getting that done but today we're going to take out the glass and get it out of the way because if you're welding if you're welding all these panels up and you're doing all this stuff if any of those sparks hit this windshield it's going to leave dots. It's going to leave burn marks in this windshield because this is a safety tempered glass. It's got like a poly film on it. It's going to burn holes. So 
If you can, remove the glass. I bought a few tools to do this job. I've never removed glass before. I'm not a huge body guy, but let me show you what I bought. So we bought a hammer dolly set. And guys, I went to Harbor Freight to get this stuff. I'm not a, gonna use this every day. It's 44 bucks. I'm gonna use it for a couple projects. Gonna serve me well. These, you're gonna try to get on Amazon and you're gonna see these little body clips. Guys, it's just sheet metal and a wing nut. Don't pay $20 for these things if you're not gonna use them every day of your life and your body man. Go pay seven bucks at Harbor Freight for them. Uh, clamps, I was a little on the hesitant side on buying good clamps, but we're gonna give them a shot because I don't feel like paying $15 for these clamps. I paid about $7 for, or excuse me, $5 for each clamp. I'm gonna be welding around them. They're gonna get burnt up. If they pop off, we'll figure it out. We'll put a uh, tack welds. And this is what we're gonna use today and this is your window uh, removal kit. You have a little wire that goes into the jam, a little tool to feed it in there. You can hook up your two uh, sides here to wire and then start sawing back and forth. I believe I have enough metal work here that I'm gonna have to brace this cab up so it doesn't tweak on me. And cause I gotta cut all these old patches out. You can tell, I mean, this guy, yeah. Well, well let's just say, he did the best he could with what he had. But y'all don't say that. Shut up. I hope there's not a lot in this kick panel down below. Something tells me it's gonna be thrash, but the floorboards are actually fairly good. I mean, I still got some surface rust on them. Um, the cab supports underneath are trashed, but this is solid. This is, this is good. So I'm able to probably get away with a lot of my inner rocker. I hope that he just overlocked this and this is good right here because i don't feel like putting in a whole floorboard honestly but it is what it is stay tuned for the time lapse of our attempting to get these windows out <laughs> here we go I would have been cutting on this thing forever if uh, if I didn't know that it was a just a big old weather seal. I'm glad uh, glad we figured that out. Well, we got the window out. Oh man, she's a little crusty, and I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna scrape this off, but. There's nothing rusted through, but it looks like there's some gunk there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. But grab something here. Let's see if it's got nothing rusted through. Just looks a little cranky. All pretty much solid, except for the seal stuff. That's, we'll get that all out of there. For the back window, not too bad. Everything looks fairly good. Got a little, little moisture in there.
little rust there. Well, looks pretty good. The next part we'll be doing is I'll be uh, putting in some bracing there because we're going to be cutting all this out. I mean, this is all getting cut out. We don't want this cab tweak for sure because when we start cutting into this back floor support because he cut so far into that, I'm afraid this cab will wind up tweaking on us. But we'll wind up grinding this out. We'll see. We'll see how bad it got back here. But the inside of this looks pretty, pretty good. Oh yeah, nice typical Mike's nest there. Oh, I love the silicone. Awesome. I can't tell what's really going on down there, but we are not too bad through here. I'm gonna wind up blowing us all out real quick and trying to get to see like what what everything looks like down in here. Let's see what it see what it looks like. Alright, well I got a little I got a little distracted because I started hearing UTVs and ATVs on my property. It was my buddies coming by and they wanted to ride my trails. I went to go see them and I ate it. Like ate it walking up to go see them. So if I'm videotaping and I'm muddy now, that's the reason. So we're gonna blow this out real quick. Well, pretty much got this all blown out, cleaned up. Not much left to do. But uh, we're going to be moving all this metal here soon. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we actually got there underneath that. Because I, I can see underneath of it, but I don't know what's underneath of it. And I don't know what I have to work with. I got plenty of metal over there to start. But I think before we start doing all the metal work on this and going to town on this, we're actually going to be stripping this frame down and we're pulling the front chassis off of that. This is a three quarter ton. We're pulling the front chassis off of that and we are cutting a section out to make this a short bed. We're getting rid of the rear end. That's all coming out. And actually the, the parts are, I got them used. They're sitting out here right now. So we have a half ton, six bolt rear end. I don't know what the gear ratio is on it. I'll, we'll bust it down later whole back suspension and a whole front suspension which this will all be coming apart because as you could tell it is absolutely filthy but first we're going to get all this torn apart I'll also will be reskinning my doors and doing that and i'll take you guys along on the journey because it's all fresh and new to me and we'll we'll try it out it's going to be an awesome project so i hope you guys stay tuned for more and i appreciate you guys watching see you on the next episode